So singleness simply means to be separated. That means you feel freedom from the influence of others. See, so many people, they are being influenced today. You know, we see a whole lot of show going on about marriage. Some people, you say, we have uh, some show going on love at first sight. I mean, marriage, you say, they get married without even knowing each other. See, that is why how the pop culture, the world has defined the marriage. You see, if you have been influenced by that, if you, are not, if you haven't freed yourself from that, you see, that means you are not single yet. See, you are not single. Another thing is to be unique. See, allow me to truly love myself. Uh, Bible says something amazing. And there's is something about God. There's orderliness when it comes to God. There's parity when it comes to God. So the Bible says, love God. You see, love yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. This is so important. We just quote that so many times. We don't actually know the deep meaning of that. You see, Bible says the very first thing, the parity is you have to love God. And the second thing, you don't love your neighbors yet. You have to love yourself. Because you cannot love yourself, you cannot love your neighbor without loving yourself first. So this is this is the same thing as you love yourself. It's the same standard. It's the measure. The way you love yourself, God is saying, love your neighbor exactly the same way. So that is God, the way God is calling us. Like, love yourself. So many people, they haven't found how unique they are. They haven't loved themselves. See, now, if you don't love yourself and you are thinking, by the time I get married, things will change. No, things will get worse. Because what marriage does, marriage magnifies the problem. Whatever that is hidden in you, that is messed up in you. That is, marriage magnifies that. But you need to work on that before you get married. You see, because when you get married, it becomes a problem.